50 Cent responds to ex Daphne Joy's false and baseless grape accusations. Oh, my goodness gracious, gentlemen, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. This is all about taking down men. This stuff is not going to stop. What the hell? Did y'all know about this? Did y'all know and didn't tell me? I know y'all didn't know, put this out here and didn't tell me. Child, let me go to Instagram before I read this though. Child. So this is Daphne Joy, which is uh, allegedly an uh, ex-worker, even though all these whores are ex-workers anyway. So, you know, 50 has been trolling Diddy forever. Let's just go to 50's page, actually. Oh, this baby cute. He has been uh, trolling him forever. Then he started trolling her. Let me see. What does it say? This is as of 34 minutes ago. Oh, shit. She responded on the post. Child, this is messy. First of all, what what is this Diddy has on? What, What is this that Diddy has on, child? Are those marijuana socks? <laughs> Is that marijuana? It's not funny. Are those marijuana socks? Oh, Lord. Did his mule buy them those as a parting gift, as an extra gift? 50 said, you move a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now here we are, little sex worker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So then she writes delusional. So what is who, what is Daphne Joy? Isn't she an OnlyFans person, child? She got booking information. Let's see. I see Fawcett Media follows her. Shout out to Fawcett. More of me here. Sensitive contact. This link contains OnlyFans content, a platform limited to users and visitors of uh, visitors of eighteen and over. Oh, y'all can't see it. Sorry. So she's a whore. Okay, which we already knew. So so I don't understand what the outrage is. We talked about this yesterday. For Diddy to be hanging out with ex-workers, that's what this woman is. She's a whole full adult. She got OnlyFans. She's a whore. These people are willingly saying that they're ex-workers, but all of a sudden when Diddy is using the same people who are saying I'm for hire for these services, then it's allegedly supposedly a problem. Now, 50, don't act like you didn't know that that's what this woman was doing because, child, what else she going to do? What, what does this woman do, y'all? Like, seriously, does anyone know Bueller? 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 So I want, you know, I won't be around what uh, I promise you I won't be doing that. Um, these kids is all going to be raised by whores. And then you'll see the results. Those of you younger people in about 25 to 35 years. Okay. I think, okay. So she got these clothes that probably come from China and she models them herself. Okay. No different than what anybody else is doing at prices that most of these people ain't paying for. All right. All right, ma'am. It is what it is. She's a whore. Okay. So let's go back here. But she got 1.7 million fans. Shout out to Fawcett Media. All right. Let's see what she got here. Curtis James Jackson. Everything is a joke to you until our safety is compromised, which is happening now. You are wreaking real havoc, frenzy, and chaos onto people's lives. How would you feel if Sire was the one in handcuffs for nothing? Oh, sound like she um, defending Diddy. You know that's not going to happen. Mm-mm, child. We moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son, and you saw him 10 times out of the two years that we lived a mile away from you. I am tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never even earned. Mm, mm, mm. Let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of graping me and physically a being me. You are no longer my oppressor. Oh, girl, don't be using my terms. Don't be using my terms, child. You are no longer my oppressor. And my God, I cannot stand you, horse. You're an ex-worker. We just saw your place of employment. You're an ex-worker. It is what it is. So now now she got to run out here because 50 going to troll. Everybody knows that 50 is going to troll. 
50 gonna troll. That's what he does. And you're gonna act like this is new. So now you want to defend Diddy so badly. Now you want to act like it's Diddy's fault that you was an ex-worker for Diddy. I'm sorry. You want to act like it's Fitty's fault that you was an ex-worker for Diddy. And Lord knows who else. Oh, these Beatrice is all the same, y'all. Child, they all the same. I had you as a father to preserve our family with these last and final false claims made against me. You have broken our hearts for the last and final time. <laughs> Oh, Lord, 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 these biatches ain't shit, okay? Mm, mm, mm. All righty, what's the comment say? Y'all are saying she's lying, but she literally filed for a restraining order against him for DV before. This was in like 2013. Well, ma'am, for you to be so involved in someone's life that much that you know what happened in 2013 for a whore, that's a very, very interesting. But, you know, to each his dad going on. Now we want to come out here and try to say this in the middle of what's already going on. So now you want to drag, drag another man down, just drag another damn man. It's, it's the year of taking down men. Y'all listen to me when I tell you that's what this is. It ain't even got shit to do. With, I don't think specifically with black men. However, it definitely looks like it's all on y'all for real, for real. So it, why would, if, if, if she got so, if she's scared of him and he did this and he did this, then why would she move next to him then a mile away from him then? Like what? No, I got questions. F y'all, not y'all. I got questions. That's all I'm saying. Shout out to live from New York. Thank you, honey. He said these chicks don't even be looking that good. Rappers have some bad taste. Same for athletes. The same, it's the same person, right? The same people over and over and over again. And then none of them are loo are, are um are exercising any decent judgment. They would be better off finding I can't a, somebody that look like Taraji Dan P. Henson. And I'm not coming for her. I'm not. I'm just saying you keep going for the same damn person. They all look the same. They all doing the same thing. They all whores. They all have nothing. Nothing, not a GD thing going for them. And you go and get this person pregnant, including Drea, including Brittany Renner. And who the hell knows who else that I can't even think of right now. They all look the damn same. And then all of a sudden, they now got to say, you did something wrong to me. And now you got to. Mm -mm. Woo. Uh, sorry, but crying great while being caught in a scandal is diabolical. This one says she moved a mile away from a dude that graped and beat on her. Exactly. It doesn't make sense unless you just stupid. You're stupid and you're a whore. Like, I'm just asking questions because none of this makes sense. This one says, so why have his baby? You still have time to delete this again. Girl, he about to make your life a living hell and he will. <laughs> And he definitely will. Um, this one says grape. Now I don't believe that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So they, okay. With, they defend 50, but they not gonna, you know, but they got all the smoke for, um, for, um, for Diddy, of course. Med J, I'm not saying that Taraji isn't good looking. All I'm saying is look for someone, something different than that same Kim Kardashian. Look, that's what it is. It's a Kim Kardashian look. Cause, and that's why they're all whores because they think because Kim made it to be a billionaire or a millionaire, whatever the hell she is and the rest of the family from a sex tape with Ray J that that's why these people try to look like her and try to be like her ever since that happened, because they want to have the life like her. I'm just saying, I, I didn't call that a long time ago because it, that none of it makes sense. None of it makes sense. Uh, so then she got to put this whole thing here as usual, let the whole world know everything. Then we got something to say, then they're going to be mad. I'm just saying, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not thinking that Med J. I'm just saying, I'm just trying to use a person that just doesn't look like the rest. That's all. I know you're not. I appreciate you, hon. Shout out to Dane. Thank you so much. He said, been saying for months, too many Diddy jokes. But, but everybody out here uh, talking about them. And it's like, y'all going off of freaking accusations Ain't nobody been arrested. Ain't no charges been filed. The man then went and added 25 more pages. It's a freaking joke. To me, this is all a joke. I know Lee said whatever he said, he legal. That's fine. He can say whatever he says. That's fine. But from what I see and from what I can tell, 
ain't nobody fought a charge, but everybody's just dumping him, dumping him, dumping him, dumping him, dumping him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, what is this? What is going on here? Nothing. Nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I am deeply hurt by the lies in Rodney Jones's lawsuit. The claim that I am a sex worker is 100% false. Y'all, y'all, this this is lie number one right here. This is this is a lie already right damn here. The claim that I am a sex worker is 100% false. We just looked at the book of information for her OnlyFans. <laughs> ah, I know someone will say, you don't know. She could just be showing her feet. I don't give a F. That's what the site is about. I don't care what you say. I'm not paying for it. I'm not going to see it. You're a whore. If the only thing that you can do is have OnlyFans, you're a whore. That's what I said. That's what I believe. And that's what I'm going to keep saying. I don't care who like it and don't like it. Because everybody's lazy. This is this is what y'all fo- voted for. I'm sorry. This is what y'all wanted to have, to be free, to have freedom, to not need a man, not to be around a man, blah, 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 in order to become whores. I can't do it. Shout out to Dane. Um, appreciate you, hun. Um, shout out to uh, Tim Plus in the building. Always good to see you. He said, Lee just said in the live stream, it's all shaky. Child, it was, it's been shaky from the beginning. Now, no offense against you, of course. Thank you so much for being here. Shout out to everybody who's here. Please hit the like button. But just the fact that everybody is sitting up here just ignoring the fact that all these people that they're talking about are adults. Everybody is a damn adult. People have sex the way that they have sex. Just because they don't do it like you don't mean there's something wrong with it. They just do it differently. A grown ass man went to live with another grown ass man for over a year. And now we're supposed to be put upon and feel sorry for him. You are dumbass. You're a dumbass, meaning Rod. That doesn't make sense. Diddy took my keys. Nigga, Lyft is available. It sounds stupid. It sounds stupid. And the fact that people just jump on this stuff and just go along with it with absolutely no proof. That's why the stream that I listed as innocent until proven guilty with a question mark, because that's not even what the hell it is. And God knows you can't support none of these people. Ooh, Lord, 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 it's getting worse and worse and worse. It's about men. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Shout out to Sunspot. Appreciate you, honey. He says, socialite looks with little to no substance. Goofy, nair, none. Trying to get a lightning strike to be like Kim. Trying to get a lightning strike to be like Kim. She says, I am retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. Girl, we don't care. <laughs> But they always got to let the rest of the world know. There's some stuff that y'all should just keep to yourself. Nope. Got to make sure you tell everybody. Got to make sure you tell everybody. Then as soon as someone has an opinion that somebody don't like, then they trying to come for you. F that. The the attorney Tyrone, y'all remember? The attorney is Tyrone. Okay, so that's just a replay of that same old stuff. This this is the person that's not an ex-worker. This is the person... Who's not an ex-worker, ma'am, 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 you can't tell her, you don't know, she's just modeling her clothes, she's a good mama, 50 Cent was mean to her. She does what she has to do to feed her family. Oh, my God. You don't know. Leave her alone. Yeah, yeah, girl. You are very intelligent over here. This is someone's mother. This is someone's mother trying to act like she's offended. Goodbye, ma'am. I'm sure she's trying to be at the PTA meeting, right? That's what this is about. That's what this is about. Okay. Shout out to 10 plus with another two. He said, where's some Kendra nonsense at this point? That's what we were doing. We were interrupted by this. We were doing a versus 10 plus. And then I happened to, I don't even know what I was looking for. And then all this came up with 50 cent. Ooh, 
Lord, Lord, Lord. This baby's cute. Let's see what he got going on in his bio. Um, so, th- okay, so this is what 50 had. He must have posted. It said, I didn't know you was an ex-worker. You little ex-worker, laugh out loud. Yo, this ish is a movie. Mm-hmm. He was talking to her. I don't know who that is. I don't know what that is. Okay, and that's the post that he had. All right. Oh, look at that. That's actually cool, 50 Cent. Anyway, so let's see. All right, so he, was she pregnant? Did they have a baby together? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This person said, uh, oh, 50 Cent, you worst enemy to have. I agree. Uh, 50 is the biggest celebrity troll we know. He's been trolling Diddy since this mess started. He's been going in. And then he just said, oh, Daphne. Oh, Daphne Joy. And that's Rodney's fault, Daphne. That's Rodney's fault. Because he decided to change and start adding people's names in there. Now y'all want to be put upon. When it when it finally comes down to you, then y'all want to be put upon. But y'all was all into it. And I don't know about her in particular. But y'all was all into it with damn Diddy and he wrong and take him down and take everything away and pay that money. You don't know. Blah, 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 blah. Women today are whores. That's why we took whoredom into 2024. So now it's all, now everybody got to be worried now. Everybody should straighten up because now he done named Joe ass. He just out here naming people. Young Miami, just naming people. Whoever the hell else, he just, uh, Prince Harry, just naming people. Everybody should be upset about this. One, because there's too much information that can be put out there just by way of saying something in a um, legal document. And everyone just says, oh, it's true. It's true. Just because the daggone people busted in this house, it was overkill. It was overkill to have a freaking tank to go in the house with Diddy. It wasn't freaking Scarface. Come on now, stop this. It was not Scarface. To make a spectacle. And then when someone says that stuff, and I, I'm just just using my common sense right now. When the dude, I think it was Sim, Slim Thug or whoever said, you know, y'all quick to take down a black man, even though it's just black people in particular, in my opinion. But it's like, y'all, all these people were adults, all of them. And just because Rod said that there were minors there, he has improved a GD thing. And if you're having sex with one person and you go from, from Pennsylvania to Florida and have sex with them, that makes it X work. That makes it X work. Y'all changing meaning, the meanings of words is getting y'all in freaking trouble. You just gonna, if that girl that was uh, 17 and whatever state it was, legal age was 16. She brought that ass after allegedly being graped, but y'all gonna miss all that. Not y'all, but y'all just miss all that because you don't want to look, look into anything. And then she comes to New York back in that year, 17 was legal age, but nobody want to look into that. You always want to apply today's laws to laws back out from before. You can't do that. That's what they did for Co- with Cosby. That's what they did with Bill Dam Cosby. And everybody just went along with it. Yeah, he was doing it. Child, he was talking about it. Plenty of people was talking about what Bill Cosby did. Everyone knew it. But then all of a sudden, here you go with, uh, um, what is it? What was it? Not the ASA, child. I guess, I don't know if it's feminism, whatever the hell it was. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, no, Bill Cosby did this 50 years ago. Damn it, 50 years is not today. You don't have to like it. But after that one, Constantine was allegedly taken down. She went back. But y'all want to ignore that. But ain't nobody got no damn smoke for that damn um, uh, quiet on the set. You ain't got no problem with the, the kids is all taken advantage of and absolutely on tape, objectified and groomed for sure, for sure. It's on freaking tape. I don't hear nobody carrying on the way that they carrying on about this. Not near bit. Not near bit. I finally started watching that thing and my mouth dropped the F open. Nobody got nothing to say. The shit is on tape. It's on tape. This is the shit with Nickelodeon. Ain't no outrage. That's where the outrage really needs to be. Nope. You don't give a damn about these kids. These people don't give a damn about these kids. Whoo. Anyway, 
Um, let me see. What did uh, 50 Cent a, a reportedly seeking sole custody of son after ex Daphne Joy was accused of being Diddy's, Diddy's ex worker? And then 50 said, I did hear this. It is what it is. You see you in family court, sex worker child. 50, I'm a little confused as to how you didn't know she was already an ex worker. She got damn OnlyFans. We really are trying to accept freaking OnlyFans as a real legitimate job, child. F TikTok. I want to see um, freaking OnlyFans go down again. The way that it did during, the, I think it was during the pandemic or whenever they did that for one second and them people was having a fit, do it now. Everybody over here being strong and independent, let that shit go down. Uh, I'm sorry, but do you really want your son or is this to spite her? Mm. This one says, There's, this is still the mother of your child. Oh, okay. I guess they didn't see what Daphne said, right? You see, you see how this plays out, y'all? She over here talking about accusing somebody of grape. Now, I don't know. This is only an hour ago. Her post was two to three hours ago, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, he's not right because that's the mother of his child. But her, him being the father of their child doesn't matter. She can say whatever she wants. It doesn't matter. You don't know. The whore can say whatever she wants. Gotcha. It's a whore's life, y'all. I might need to use that as a title. Um, think about how your child will feel. This is still his or her mother. Think about how the child will feel when they find out that their mother was a, a OnlyFan hoe. Think about that. Nobody got nothing to say about that. Mm-hmm. So please just wash the family laundry in private. Best wishes. Mm-hmm. And then she comes and says, see you there, abuser. But she on it. She in his comments. She in his comments. You see this. This is the second time she in his comments. Mm, mm, mm. Child, you can't make it up. You can't make it up. Mm, mm, mm. This one says, bro, we are three months deep into 2024 and it's already wild as hell. That is true. <laughs> that is absolutely true. This is crazy. All right. <sighs> Shit. This man. New documents show that P. Diddy allegedly used videos of Stevie J having intercourse with another man to groom men. In <laughs> I cannot. Y'all do. I can't take it. I can't take it. Let me go to this. Um, Hold on. Let me get rid of this horse page here and here and go here. Child, let me refresh this. Lord, Lord, Lord. 50 Cent responds to ex Daphne's false and baseless grape accusations. Shout out to Sunspot. Thank you, honey. Said they smashed the same people to one up each other. Agree. 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 I feel like we just talked about that as well. Same people over and over and over and over with uh, Drea and uh, Joy Chavez or whatever her name is. And child, now this one. Dane C, thank you for another two. He said law and crime isn't even covering quiet on the set. <laughs> they do not care about these kids. Nobody cares about these kids. So this is as a 734. It is almost an hour later. So this is Vibe Magazine. Don't she look the same as the rest? She might have a hint of Asian or something, but she looked the same as all the rest. 50 Cent has released an official statement denying accusations of grape and physical AB from ex Daphne Joy. The disturbing allegations and the sworn pleadings recently filed in a court case related to Daphne Joy, the mother of my 12 year old child has. So, so the 12 year old knows what's going on anyway. He's 12. You think he don't have a phone. You think he don't see what's on the damn internet. You think his friends ain't saying nothing to him. He already knows. Probably already knows that his mother's on only fans. What does your mom do for a living? Child. Um, legal action to protect my son's sire, 50 Cent said in a statement to Vibe. The most recent false and baseless accusations by Daphne Joy are clearly in response to my decision to seek sole custody of my son. My son's sire is my main priority and keeping him in a safe environment is my only focus at this time. Joy accused ex-boyfriend and the father of her son, 50 Cent, of grape and other desp despicable acts after the rapper mocked allegations against the 
person that is not a model, I don't care what they say, of being a sex worker for more recent partner, Sean Diddy Coons. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Joy took to Instagram Thursday, March 28th to share her disappointment in the power creator airing him out for allegedly only seeing their 11 year old son sire 10 times in two years and for allegedly committing essay and a and abusing her during their relationship. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Curtis James Jackson, everything is a joke to you. Okay, we read that. She later continued, let's put the real focus on your evil alkai. So here it is. We already read it. Here it is. Always 55 million years later. Interesting how this all, so all of a sudden comes up after she gets named and he says that he's going to do what he's going to do. Now, all of a sudden, here come the grape. And I'm sure all the biatches will, will support her. Even though five seconds ago, if you watched that video earlier with that Colombian girl who looked like saucy damn Santana out here saying it's all you ninjas fault or people in the chat saying it's all you ninjas fault that she over here saying the N word because you mess with them exoticas. That's what y'all do, too. Y'all mess with them exoticas. It's all y'all's fault. Everything is your fault. S-Y-C-B-M, gentlemen. S-Y-C-B-M. Joy was named as one of Diddy's ex work sex workers, child, it don't even matter now, in a lawsuit filed by producer Lil Rod, to which she quickly responded via Instagram. I am deeply hurt, child, we don't care. Upon learning of the accusation, 50 took to Instagram and shared, I didn't know you was a sex worker, you little sex worker. Laugh out loud. Yo, this shit is a movie. About one hour after Joy shared her accusatory post, 50 responded by confirming reports that he'll soon be seeking full custody of son sire. Mm, mm, mm. It is what it is. You see you in family court, sex worker. He captioned screenshot of the report via Instagram. Mm, mm, mm. Lord, 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 if it ain't one thing, it's something the hell else. 2024 won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop, child. Cannot stop, will not stop. This is half damn crazy. So expect this to get worse because 50 don't care. That's the other thing. 50 don't give a damn. Not one damn bit. Not one damn bit. So he will go ahead and go with full force and child use that information in that daggone lawsuit. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh, y'all, child. Now she out here crying. Child. Lord, Lord, Lord. Now here come the tears, y'all. Here come the tears, y'all. That's not what we supposed to be talking about, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. So down here it says, I wouldn't wish this on any woman. God hears me. And that's, oh my God, my God, Lord in heaven. Ma'am. Mm, mm, mm. Gentlemen, that's why SBM child. That's why SBM child. Mm, mm, mm. It's, it's men against women at the end of the day. It's a men against women situation. And anytime they can say that it's great, all of a sudden, everybody's supposed to dr- stop, drop, and roll. You're supposed to, I'm, I, as a female, I'm supposed to stop, drop, and roll. Never, never, ever. Because B.I. just be lying. Interesting how this all, and when all this comes out. Mm, mm, mm. Girl. Oh, yeah, this was out earlier, if I'm not mistaken. Child, they be using the worst picture of... Oh, is, is this you with your grapist, child? Child, is this you with your grapist? Child, is this you with your grapist? I'm confused. Maybe it's just me. And everybody knows 50 is petty. Child, he's still trying to get his money from um that girl, Tierra Marie, I think her name is. Uh, neighborhood talks that Daphne speaks out. She says she's been upholding an image of fit. Girl. Girl, nobody listens to you. <laughs> she been open. She been upholding 50 cents image for their child. Says he physically a B. Girl, goodbye. Goodbye. Mm, mm, mm. 
What is this Kyle Anthony? Kyle Anthony, ain't that a football player or a basketball player? After watching Sloan's video, who the hell is Sloan about Diddy allegedly doing things to steal kids' energy and bind them? I don't know. 50 isn't wrong if the alleged things are true. I'm not moving within a mile of my grapist. To be crying in a boomerang is crazy. <laughs> 50 abused you and you fell into the hands of Diddy, my lord. Recording yourself crying is diabolical AF. Um, 50 clap back about to go crazy. We already know. Not her crying when we all seen her. Young Miami and Gina taking turns sharing Diddy and taking trips. Goodbye, sweetie. Everybody's getting exposed this year. Remember, 50 burned his first baby mama's house down because she got a boyfriend. He's got skeletons in his closet, too. Here we go. And that's a dude. Face full of tears with lips full of lip, lip gloss on the couch is crazy work, you little worker. You. <laughs> she embarrassed, so now she'll she pulling straws with lies. This one, this dude says, I don't know or care who's telling the truth or not. Don't know any of these people personally. However, I could never forgive my father for publicly joking and ridiculing my mother, the woman who birthed and continues to take care of me online for laughs and likes. That's low AF. And the fact that is going over some of the commenters' heads is crazy. No, the fact that she chooses to be a whore is the part that hurts the kid initially. But, you know, no one seems to understand or see that. It's okay. You don't know. She can be a sex worker. She can show herself online. She can be naked. It's called freedom. It's called equality. But y'all ain't going to be over there on that bridge where uh, that just fell down or any other bridge to do the work that those immigrants did. All this equality is only to be in your own house to be whores. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is, child. Uh, 50 lives in a world of not giving a F. He's about to troll the F out of her. Yes, he will. I mean, I'm just, I'm just confused as to where this, this outrage from her is about something that's true. You're on OnlyFans, man. Please stop this. Please stop this. I can't. Everybody's supposed to have all this empathy and sympathy for these people. I can't do this. This is what happens when you decide to be a whore. So people can think that it's just going to be um, dudes that are going to fall down. You biatches will fall down too. You biatches will fall down too, especially the ones that are out here thinking that the only way that you can make it in life and you think you got a business just because you open your legs, whether it's to show or whether it's to take something in, you think that that's, that's being a feminist and then wonder why don't nobody want to have nothing to do with you. I promise you most of these people, not her, but most of the normal people that want to do these things ain't thinking about the future. They ain't sitting up here thinking about saving. They ain't investing. They're not buying anything, not even dollar properties over there in damn Balta damn more. Nothing, nothing. But they got it going on and this is what everyone wants to be and everybody wants to do because it's basically easy because these people are lazy. They don't want to work. Am I saying that you got to fall for what people call the matrix? I am not saying that. But what I am saying don't mean that you got to be a whore because that shit's going to wear off and there's always somebody coming up behind you that look better, that's tighter and righter. But they don't even think that damn far. That's why don't let these surgeries go out of business, child. I'm not saying that this girl had it because I don't know. I don't care. But don't let these surgeries go out of business. Imagine that. Imagine if they said no more BBLs, mommy makeovers. Imagine if they said no more BBLs and no more makeovers in the United States of America. They'd be jumping out the window for that, too. They will be jumping out of the window for that, too. Whoo, Lord, this just gets worse and worse every daggone day. Um, someone please let me know. I know that um, um, the white guy got sentenced today for the uh, trading that he did. I can't think of his name, right? What What's the white people doing? Yo, what, what are the white people doing? Because black people is going down every day. Child, we got a new mayor for those that missed it in the beginning, Team Replay. We got a new mayor that's about to be in some trouble, him or his wife. They're getting ready to get in on him. They, Doogie already wasting his time over there with Joy Damn Reed. 
Yeah, Sam Bankman. Thank you so much, hon. Doogie over there messing around, wasting time with Joy Reid instead of focusing on what the hell he needs to do in order to get uh, Baltimore back to where it needs to be. This is the time that you need a good, solid, freaking upstanding mayor that knows what the effort is that he's doing so that he can go ahead and concentrate and get shit back together. He over there messing around with Joy Reid talking about white people. Child. Anyway. Y'all, I ain't got nothing else to say. That's it. We so off track now, but mm, mm, mm. hey, maybe I'll do this tomorrow. Okay. If not, definitely on Saturday. We might have to have two eviction nights. I think I told y'all that. There's so much crap with that going on. We'll see. We'll see. Actually, I probably won't. I got to get my taxes done. So I probably won't be on again until um Sunday. I mean, Saturday. Saturday morning, 930. Okay. But shout out to y'all. What have we learned today? Uh, 50 going to be 50. Daphne is an ex worker. And uh, the Kendra G and Ashley show ain't changed. Ain't nothing different. Actually, it's probably worse. Child, we might do it again, though. Because it actually was good to laugh instead of being outraged by all this crazy stuff. But we're keeping up with that new mayor, too. We're keeping up with um, Marty Smalls, child. Don't that sound like a name that somebody should be in a black and white suit carrying a pistol like they did on Tom and Jerry with that hat on, that gang of cats? (laughs) Ah, Live from New York said, no, Ashley. Okay, (laughs) Ashley sucks. She is pretty boring, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We don't have to do a versus. We could just do Kendra G, child. I think some of y'all sent me some videos, so send me some videos that you know about, okay? Shout out to your excellence, sir. Thank you so much, hon. Um, he said, I got two three-year-old twin boys. It pains me knowing that I'm raising them to become decent men, and our sisters hate their guts and are willing to send them to prison or the grave. Mm-mm-mm. I don't even have an answer for you, hon. I don't even have, I, I don't even know what to say. This is, this is crazy. The the way the people are just being led so easily just because of the hatred for men. This is a, it's a definite hatred for men, y'all. I know you see. I know y'all see it. Thank you so much, hon. You know I do it. I like getting high. I'm a crap We do not care. 